Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and this is a Super Chat Square Up from my last Friday Night Frolics. We never leave any Super Chats behind on my channel. Whenever I have to leave before all the Super Chats are done, I will do one of these Square Up Super Chats or Super Chat Square Ups, actually flip that, and uh, make sure that everybody is treated with the respect that they deserve. So, it's like a little mini version of a live stream, and I am proud to bring it to you today, and without much ado, or further ado, let's get started. Donald J. Hamilton, with a $24.99 Super Chat, very kind of you, Donald, you were very generous that night. Donald J. Hamilton says, if we don't get a Leia Ray TV series, I don't know if men will know what to do with our mythology. I know. Heavens to Betsy. What ever will we do with ourselves without a Leia Ray TV series? But I think, in actual fact, Donald, that the Leslie Headland, uh, Harvey Weinstein's former assistant, Leslie Headland's uh, TV series, is going to be even more pernicious than that if my source is correct, and I may have something to say about that very, very soon, Donald, but it's looking bad. It's looking really bad, dude. Thank you very, very much for that super chat, my friend. Arthur P. with a $2 super chat. Hail, Arthur P. And he says, is KK going scorched earth? Thoughts? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think that she is. I think that she is. I did a, uh, did a video recently uh, about that very thing where she said, I will either have it my way or burn the silly nonsense to the ground. She says that uh, as a, well, a paraphrase quote uh, by my source. So uh, actually that's uh, prescient, Arthur P. Are you psychic? Are you Karnak? Do you hold envelopes to your head and see the contents inside? Yeah. No, this is... Uh, this is, her. I believe this is exactly what she's going to do. And I think when she heads out the door, uh, I think she may have some revelations about Iger or the board or something. She's, she's holding something over their heads, uh, according to some recent uh, stuff I got from my source. Now, I don't know, again, if this is rumor or fact, and I will be commenting on that in a future video. Hail to Arthur P. Admiral O.F. Doom with a $5 super chat. Hail, Admiral O.F. Doom. He says, dang it, Doomcock singing the frog song and the receiving manager joining along and dancing. I need a drink. Just an observation. Well, that's what happens when you broadcast the musings and ramblings and rantings of the future ruler of Earth over the... <laughs> speaker system of your store. Madness and enlightenment simultaneously erupt. It's very strange, and I won't presume to say uh, which end of the scale has the, the greater weight. Thank you, Admiral O.F. Doom. It is wonderful, sir. Wonderful to see you here tonight. Or that it was wonderful to see you there that night. But since I'm doing this, you know, live for me, I'm treating it that way. Thank you, Admiral O.F. Doom. Piano Dean with a $5 super chat. Sing us a song. You're the Piano Dean. He says, hail, Doomcock. Thank you so much for tweeting. We didn't start the canon. To your followers, sir. Well, I was absolutely delighted to do so, Piano Dean. Uh, you and Auntie Trekker did a hell of a video there. And you are a very, very talented musician. Well done, both of you. I thought that that was a hell of a good video, a lot of fun, and uh, it should have gotten a lot more views than it did. But uh, I guess you're, you're in good company because I've done a number of videos, uh, particularly early on, that uh, should have gotten a lot more views. But it just doesn't seem to work that way, does it? Hail Piano Dean and hail to We Didn't Start the Canon. If you all haven't seen that, check it out because it is great. Ryan with a $2 super chat. Hello, Ryan, says catch you next Friday, Overlord. Hail. I hope so, Ryan. I hope to see you tomorrow, uh, which will also be on my birthday. So I hope that it will uh, be a, a fun stream. Uh, it certainly will be for me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be drinking. 
Thank you, Ryan, very much. See you tomorrow. R. Fletch with a $2 super chat and a keen observation from R. Fletch, that wonderful, wonderful cat. He says, overlords of Earth should be able to carry a song. Uh, uh, well, I don't necessarily know that every overlord uh, would theoretically have to be able to carry a song, but this one can. And this is the only one fit to rule the Earth. Therefore, uh, I, I think you're wise. I'll go ahead and accept that. Uh, let that be let a qualification moving forward. Overlords of Earth must be able to carry a song. That right there eliminates a whole bunch of potential rivals, although currently I have none. For I, Doomcock, am without compare. <laughs> Thank you, R. Fletch. Shanth and Jetty. Shanth and Jetty with a $2 super chat. Thank you, Shanth. Says, great singing as always, brother. Well, I have to remind people that I'm qualified to rule the earth, according to the R. Fletch. Uh, what will I call it? According to the R. Fletch dictum, the R. Fletch mandate, the R. Fletch axiom. I need to come up with a definite, but I like that. To the, the R. Fletch rule. The R. Fletch dictate. I like that. The R. Fletch dictate. Overlords of the earth must be able to sing. So periodically I will sing to reassert my bona fides and my qualifications to rule other than my giant robot army, army of undead, and so on and so forth. Thank you, Shanth. Lawrence Martin with a $5 super chat. Thank you, Lawrence. Says Thursday, driving to work. I caught myself singing your anthem. When I realized it, it made me smile. Thank you for all you do. You are welcome, Lawrence Martin. When I saw this super chat just now, it made me smile. I love it. Wow. Singing Doomcock's anthem in the car. So you even remember it? You like remember the words? That's kind of cool. Thank you very much, Lawrence Martin. That's nice to know. R. Fletch with a $5 super chat. The author of the R. Fletch mandate. There we go. I, that's what I like. That's what it is. The R. Fletch mandate. He says, the music world lost out when DVD became a supervillain. Well, perhaps. But if I go ahead and take over the earth, uh, as is my want as a supervillain, well... I'll be able to mandate a music career. Ha! Won't be able to shut me up. <laughs> How about that? I like that. J.D. Hausauer with a $2 super chat. Thank you, J.D. Says, sing my darling Clementine, please. Well, I don't have the lyrics in front of me, but I'll sing you a little bit here. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine, you were lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Hail, J.D. House Hour. I will sing that for you tomorrow, brother. Just remind me. Also a good test to see if you listen to the Super Chat Square Up or not, as you should. Lindy Moo with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you, Lindy. You did not say a word or your Super Chat was written in disappearing ink. I don't have any lemon juice to put on it. Well, actually, I did. I squirted my screen with the lemon juice, but it didn't work. Hmm, must investigate further. But thank you very much, Lindy Moo, for that super chat. Dixon Cider with a $5 super chat. I love saying that. Hail Dixon Cider. He says, sorry I'm late. Busy day. Sent you an email. Not sure if you got it. A happy Mother's Day to all in the chat. I, I will go in and, and see if you did, Dixon Cider. I'm sure you did. I'm sorry, man. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm drowning in messages and, and texts, tweets. Uh, emails, and uh, it's it's very difficult at the ju at this juncture. But Dixon Cider, I will get on it, and I thank you very very much for bothering to send me anything. And uh, Harvey loves his dragon, by the way, uh, plays with it all the time, and uh, I just thank you very much, Dixon Cider. You are awesome. 
The accommodating stuntman unleashed a doomacorn in the chat. Rod Thunderheart gave me a pair super chat. I mean, a super sticker, excuse me. Uh, that was very kind of you. Uh, keep it up. Uh, I appreciate that, Rod. I, I always keep it up. Walk it down. Tito, walk it down. Tito, walk it down. Doomcock needs no fluffer. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Gilbert Lozano with a $1.99 super chat. Hail to my good friend Gilbert Lozano. It says, good night, my liege. Get your rest, too. I, I have been trying. It's really hard for me to sleep these days. I don't know what's going on. Probably confinement in the lair, uh, lack of exercise, I don't know, stress, paranoia. It's tough, but uh, I, I, I try, Gilbert, and I hope that you are taking care of yourself as well. Dean Heiss gave me a thumbs up super sticker pair. My uh, thumbs up pair super sticker. A pair with a thumbs up. And it's a super sticker. Uh, thank you, Dean Heiss, for that, brother. And I return the thumbs up across the gulf of time and space. Dixon Cider with a Dumacorn in the chat. Super Lucator. Hail Super Lucator with a $2 super chat. Thank you, oh, super one. And he, or she, says, Timura Morrison Boba Fett, Mandalorian Season 2. Nice. Well, not so fast there, Super. Uh, I've got some, uh, like I said, some reporting coming up about this. Now, it's only a rumor. I hope it's a false one, but we'll see. I am, I am very concerned about the whole thing, I have to tell you. Uh, some, some potentially very bad news, but we will get on that later. Thank you very much. Super Lucator. Scott Hudson with a $10 super chat. Hail Scott. He says they've crapped on us. Oh, this is, by the way, uh, get ready. This is, this is the poet laureate of Friday Night Frolics. Scott Hudson. He's got a great way with rhymes, hell of a wordsmith and a keen satirical mind. And here is Scott's latest work. It should not be breezed over. Buckle up. Get ready. Here we go. They've crept on us round every bend. Now, dear in lights, they glimpse their end. The mouse's house is plagued with rats. But they're the mice. And we're the cats. <laughs> Scott, you have not lost your edge. Your gift. Your muse remains potent and inspiring. Thank you, Scott Hudson, very much for the super chat and the lovely poem. Crazy Cat Guy unleashed a Dumacorn, and then Crazy Cat Guy unleashed another Dumacorn, and Stephanie Littlepage produced a Dumacorn poop, and Crazy Cat Guy had another Dumacorn that trampled over the Dumacorn poop, and amidst all this madness, Phoenix Argus with a $10 Australian super chat. Thank you, Phoenix, says, a list of Star Trek episodes to undo the illusion cast by Picard with its nostalgia. I want to list as many as possible to undo the damage done to the legacies of our loved characters and Gene's vision. Yes, this is the uh, so-called kill list that Phoenix Argus has put together. Uh, basically, a list of Star Trek episodes to uh, rebut all the garbage that was spewed in Star Trek Picard. So, uh, Phoenix Argus, that's a very laudable goal. And I salute you, my friend. You are a canon defender, and I, I am deeply, deeply grateful to you. And I thank you for being part of our community. Rod Thunderheart with a $20 super chat. Hail Rod Thunderheart. <sighs> and he says, with this very, very generous $20 super chat. Hail my liege. Funny, I was super tired myself. Please get some rest and hope you enjoyed Hilarious House of Frightenstein. Wolfman Jack existed about time as Wolfman. Remember Murdoch Mysteries? Will Shatner played Mark Twain. <laughs> wow. He played Mark Twain. Wow, that must have been weird. Well, thank you very, very much, Rod Thunderheart. Yes, I love uh, fright, uh, frightening house of, uh, Hilarious House of Frightenstein. And uh, I wish I could get all of them. I wish there was some collection or something, but uh, 
oh, well, I, I really appreciate you turning me on to it. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Molecular Arts with a $10 Australian super chat. Thank you, Molecular Arts. It says, I am old enough to remember Tom Baker and Peter Davidson in the original TV runs as Doctor Who. Hate how this show has been ruined. Doctor Who is dead. His tomb is on Trenzalore. Yes, Molecular Arts, I feel your pain. You know, I, um, I never caught the original runs, but that doesn't matter. I mean, the thing about recording technology in a civilization is that it makes these shows as fresh as the day they were first broadcast, and you can discover them at any time, and you can hand them down to your children and their children, and it's like the oral transmission of tradition, only this way it's audio and visual. The legends live, so long as they are not destroyed. So long as they are not destroyed. Not revised. Not bent, fold, spindled, and mutilated out of all relevance. As long as that's true, Doctor Who will not vanish from the face of the earth, but the problem is now. All of our franchises have these bastardized, corrupted versions that are floating around like viruses waiting to ambush new followers, new fans. They come and they find this stuff, and then lo and behold, it's perverted. It's an awful, lousy version. They see this lousy version, and they go, eh, and they move on, and they never look back. Star Trek Discovery, Chibnall's Doctor Who, the Last Jedi, all of these are poison pills in the body of our culture. And people stumble across these poison pills and then Star Trek and Doctor Who and Star Wars are dead to them. That's the problem. Thank you very much, Molecular Arts. Well said, my friend. J.D. Haushauer gave me a super pair, super sticker, toasting me with a mug, and I toast you back, J.D. Haushauer. You, sir, are a hell of a supervillain and a great guy. Well, arch-villain, in actual fact, is the proper term. Hail, J.D. Haushauer. Lily V with a $5 Canadian Super Chat. Thank you, Lily V, says, just a thought for your hard work. Please get well. Thank you, Lily V. Uh, so far, right now, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, my voice is pretty good heading in to Friday Night Frolics this weekend, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys again. Uh, can you tell? I sound a little happy. It's because I'm with you guys, at least in spirit. Arthur P. with two. No, three. Excuse me. Arthur P. with three. Two dollar super chats in a row. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arthur P. And Arthur P. says with his first super chat, okay, I'm back. Girlfriend just left. Oh. Hmm. Did you send her away as a uh, satisfied uh, satisfied girlfriend in SGF? Or did she storm off as a DGF, a disgruntled girlfriend, because you didn't do the dishes or take out the trash or, you know, any myriad of old-fashioned kind of grievances between the sexes? Hail Arthur P. I hope that her visit was a fun one. You know what I mean? Walk it down. Get the walk it down. To walk it down. And Arthur P. also says, Exorcist rocks. That and the omen. Yeah, the omen was good. I enjoyed the omen. The omen was a lot of fun. And uh, I think Jerry Goldsmith did the score to that. Uh, I just got through watching uh, Planet of the Apes, uh, an ape fest. I went ahead and watched the first four movies uh, out of the five. The fifth one isn't worth watching. So, um, and I was struck by how Jerry Goldsmith's score was just so astonishing. That movie would not have worked without Jerry Goldsmith's score. And it's not the kind of thing you want to listen to. It, it's not pleasant music, but oh my God, is it distinctive. And it gave that movie its, its atmosphere. Uh, Jerry Goldsmith was a legend, and uh, he did the same thing for The Omen. Now, The Exorcist, just, Exorcist is just incredible. Uh, there's nothing compares to The Exorcist. Arthur P., with a $2 super chat, says... Carrie Fisher with a bazooka is hot. Oh, she was. 
Yeah, man. God, if only she'd have been wearing like a short skirt while she was uh, firing that bazooka or wet at the end when she has them in the tunnel with the machine gun. And she's, uh, it would have been hot if she's standing there in high heels and a short skirt. I don't think I ever saw any pictures of Carrie Fisher in, in high, high heels and, and short skirts. But maybe, maybe I haven't uh, properly surveyed the cinematic landscape. Still, uh, I wish there was. At least we got, uh, you know, Slave Leia, which is something that drives the SJWs crazy. Good. Let it. Thank you, Arthur P. Road, uh, excuse me, Root69 with a $2 Australian super chat. Thank you, Root69 says, Deep Space Nine was a sign of the bad things to come for me. Well, I think that Deep Space Nine was kind of like Empire Strikes Back in a way. In a way. I, I think that it took on some more, a more... I don't want to say mature, but I, I I want to say complex, morally complex and shaded approach to Star Trek. And I mean, yes, I mean, you could look at it as a harbinger of bad things to come. Um, but in and of itself, that's not, not a bad thing. It's kind of like Star Wars was a harbinger of the end of, you know, the kind of auteur filmmaking of the 70s that was so damn brilliant, like... Scorsese and Taxi Driver and De Palma, uh, you know, uh, Dress to Kill and Body Double and things like that. Um, you know, chancy, risky, interesting work by auteur directors. Star Wars kind of pushed all that. And, and Spielberg, too. Spielberg and Lucas. I mean, Jaws was really the start of it. And then Star Wars kind of drove the nail in the coffin for that kind of filmmaking. And everything had to become a blockbuster event. And it ruined cinema to some extent. But you can't blame Star Wars for that. I mean, you know, it was just being great. It was the reaction to Star Wars, the greed and the stupidity on the behalf of studios that uh, kind of sealed that fate. Uh, Noel Morrison with a $2 super chat. Thank you, Noel, very, very much for that. Says, female, named after the Christmas song. Much love. Thank you, Noel Morrison. I really appreciate that. Uh, that's, a, that's a lovely name. And what a lovely thing to be uh, to be named after. Thank you, Noel. And thanks again to Arthur P. for all of those Super Chats, by the way, and all that he does uh, to support my channel. Arthur, you are awesome. And Jason Smoot unleashed a Dumacorn in the chat. Jason Smoot, Dumacorn. These things go together like shamalama lama lang a dingy doo Rob Thunderheart with a $10 Super Chat. Hail, Rod Thunderheart. He says, with a very generous super chat, Hail my liege, missed the Star Wars team. You mentioned Shatner seized on the Stormtrooper busting in Lethbridge earlier, but also the round table? Yes, Will Shatner played Mark Twain in Murdoch Mysteries. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did the, the round table earlier, uh, Rod Thunderheart. And actually, I need to post that. I am, I am so bad about this. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know what's wrong with me. I'm just distracted. Uh, but thank you, Rod. Yes, um, I'm sorry you missed the uh, you, you missed the roundtable, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We may do something like that again. Maybe we'll do it on the Harvey Channel or something. You know, where we can just kind of just kind of do one and and uh, let it be. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, thank you, Rod, very much. JD House Hour with a $2 super chat. Thank you, JD. Says, squirt the Doom Cook special juice to inoculate me. <laughs> the Doom Cook? Doom Cook special juice. Squirt the Doom Cook. Squirt the Doom Cook. Wow. JD House Hour to inoculate you. You're all inoculated. Just listening to the sound of my voice. The sound of my voice drives away SJWs and the like. Arthur P. with another three $2 Super Chats in a row. Three twos in a row. And Arthur P., sir, again. Thank you. He says, Doctor Who would get interest if Jody was naked. Yes. <laughs> yes, if she ran around in a, you know, frequently getting naked and otherwise just maybe having a mini skirt and a tube top or something. Uh, yeah, I, I would watch that. 
Not that I find her uh, terribly attractive or anything, but still, just the kinkiness of it, it would make me, it would make me pretty happy. I'm simple that way, Arthur. I'm simple that way. I, I will confess it. Uh, Arthur also, with a $2 super chat, says, thanks for your content. A little insanity is fun. I think so. It, it seems like you guys concur. If you didn't, you're certainly in the wrong place because there's a insanity aplenty afoot on Friday Night Frolics and on Friday Night Frolics Super Chat Square Ups. Ah. Arthur P., with another $2 Super Chat, says, Highlander rules. Why have sequels? Sequels generally suck. Of course, Wrath of Khan and Empire Strikes Back are the exceptions to that rule. But generally, uh, sequels are a bad idea. It's just greed. They're generally motivated by greed. You have to have a, a special team that will rally around something like that and, and care enough to actually make a sequel worthwhile. But it's, it's very rare, Arthur P. Thank you very much for all of those super chats. Oh, and a fourth one that I had missed uh, with a $2 super chat. Again, Arthur P. says, hang in there. No guts, no glory. I actually did stick around uh, Friday Night Frolics longer than I intended to, and uh, it was my honor to do so, I have to say. Uh, but yeah, uh, sometimes you just have to do a super chat square up and this is it. I hope y'all are having fun on this. Clobberin' Times with a $5 super chat. Hail Clobberin' Times. He says, hail Lord. Thanks again for having me on, good sir. Had a blast. Always love talking, some trek, especially with great folks like you and your panel. It went very well and it was an awful lot of fun and, uh, I really enjoyed doing it, Clobberin' Times. Uh, but really, you know, I don't do that many panels and, and guest shots and whatnot because you guys are the show. I mean, you guys are my guests. The, the chat is the show. And, um, you know, I, when I'm engaged with, with people in a panel or guesting, then that's time where I really can't, uh, I have to kind of uh, go away from you guys and I don't like doing that. So that, that's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, Kevin Ares with a 99 cent super sticker of a 100. 100. I have scored 100 on this live stream, and it makes me very, very happy. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Uh, I appreciate that. Kevin Ares, much appreciated. And then we had super stickers in the chat. We had Crazy Cat Guy with a Doomicorn, and JD Househauer replied with a Doomicorn. Red Pill Gary had a wonderful super sticker of a happy reacting uh, emoji saying, wow, Doomicorn. But then his joy turned to horror, or at least awe, uh, as Red Pill Gary dropped another super sticker of a, a little emoji with the jaw dropping. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, Lily V sent a $2 farty hardy super sticker, which I always love to see. And Mike Amadeo Amadeo unleashed a Dumacorn in the chat. JD Househauer sent me a super sticker as well that said, good vibes. Lily V sent a super sticker reacting to the good vibes. And Arthur P capped it all off with a $2 super chat saying, Anna is hot. <laughs> well, yes, Anna is hot, and uh, I can't disagree with that. And I thank you all for being here, and I think that's a great way to wind up this Super Chat Square Up. Thank you all for being here today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your patience in letting me get back to this. Uh, we leave no Super Chat behind on my channel, and this is the proof. Hail to the chat Hail to all the usual suspects, and thank you all for being here today. I hope to see you tomorrow on Friday Night Frolics, and from all of us here at the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friend, stay angry <laughs> and stay safe. <laughs> <laughs>